southern roots had kicked in, baby, I was cooking it up during COVID. Baby, I was shoving it, whipping it, whipping it, whipping it. That was me. <laughs> No, I was just trying to move so you could see. Oh. Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> if you're new here, I'm Sonya. You turn into a weekly vlog. It's Kristen. Hey y'all. And there's Paula in the back. Hi. So we are headed out to shoot some content right now. I have a sponsorship with Goodwill, but guess who left her Goodwill card at home? <laughs> guess who also left the clothes that she was gonna donate to Goodwill? No. At home. Okay, so what, what was I doing today? I don't know. Um, but Paula was nice enough to let me use her Goodwill gift card. <laughs> if y'all don't remember Paula, y'all should remember her from the um, the thrift store video we did that went really, really well on YouTube. I'll pop a, I'll pop it in the description if you haven't seen that. Um, Paula is like the queen of thrift, yes. and she has taught me so many things. And then, so um, we both have had. Um, sponsorships by Goodwill in the past. So she has a gift card too. So she's gonna let me use it, thankfully. Because I was like, if I have to come back out, it's just not gonna happen, okay? And we already delayed. We're getting this done anyway. So I just wanted to get the vlog started. We're having kind of like a really chill girls that got it. It's only 38 degrees outside. 37. 37 degrees. Cold. And it's kind of like little snow, snow flurries out. So it's cold. Um, so we're gonna do this and then go get some dinner and drinks we're gonna get up with denise later y'all remember denise um from the last vlog all right we'll pull up when we get to the good wheel and look at my nails jeez actually don't look at them yeah <laughs> Do y'all see all these birds? What the heck? Why are they, and they landing all over people's like oh, grass. They on both sides of the street. See, look, look, look. Oh! Lord, oh! well, we come to you right now. What is happening? Oh, oh this is weird. Oh, oh, this is weird! <laughs> look at that. <gasps> Yo, I've never seen this. Well, they're migrating because it's getting cold. That's what's happening. Oh my goodness! Oh, but yeah, it happens all the time in this neighborhood. It's like they're at this particular this. house. No, they all over. They come to our yard too. Oh. One time I was at work and they all took flight and I had a black cloud over the window. I thought I was like, is it an eclipse? I've never been so close to see them. This is crazy. Look at this, y'all. Oh wow! <laughs> Not me thoroughly enjoying myself. Okay. Hey y'all. So, nope, not for me. I got spatios, I got almonds, um, granola cereal, popcorn. Popcorn? You want popcorn? Yeah, I'll take the popcorn. So, <laughs> the Goodwill trip was swift. Okay, we was gonna go to two different ones, but we're nobody on that vibe today. It is cold. I don't know if y'all can see like how gloomy it is. How gloomy it is outside, and it's cold. I told y'all there were like snow flurries falling down earlier, so we just made a dinner reservation at Cooper Hawks for 3:45. So we're just gonna hang out here. It's like 3:30. We're gonna hang out here and um, then go to our reservation. Gonna try to give Denise a little bit of time to make it across the water. Well, yeah, I keep forgetting she lives in Suffolk. We gonna give her enough time at the restaurant, okay? So Paul is here. Paul didn't get nothing from Goodwill. Girl. <laughs> Paul would let me spend ten dollars on a gift card. She was like, "Girl." So, um, hopefully y'all will see that content at some point. But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a little update that we are just hanging out. Here's Kristen. Oh yeah, banana would be nice. It's not cold, is it? No, I'm still in the okay. 
with Hannah. Hannah see child is on one today. Can y'all see him? Okay. But yeah, I'ma eat my little nanner. Try to hold me up. I ain't ate nothing since breakfast. And then we will get with y'all. Oh, no. 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 Yes. A little vibey vibe. Sorry, I got distracted. But yes, okay. Denise says she gonna be ready by 3.50, so she'll probably be up here like 4. 30 at the latest. Yeah. Right. So we'll take our time. We'll take our time get some. Um, get a flight. Get an appetizer. And a flight. And a flight. And just sit and talk. And just sit and chat. Yeah. Um, so yes, child. Here's the original nephew of the group. The old school's one. Yes, I'll now. Just see you, fool. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look how disobedient he is. You are so bad. He a mess. He done got old, y'all. If y'all go back and watch my like very my second vlog ever mm -hmm. from 2017, it's literally the second video on my channel ever. Mm -hmm. Um, you'll see how young he was. Oh, it's 3:33. Praise God. Yeah. Show him how you got mature. Show him how you done age. Look at the gray on his face. Oh, you baby. Up. You up, look. <clears throat> She gotta help hold the food out in front of them. <laughs> you see, Paul. Anyway, y'all, so we'll uh, pick it back up when we get to Cooper Hawks. Hey y'all, I just made it in the house. Woo! When I tell you it is cold, baby. Today, it was only, what, 38 degrees <laughs> outside? It was cold. Okay. That's me. Just wait a minute. He always rushing me to feed him. You still got food in here. Oh, hold on. Look at all this food he still got in here. Oh, you finna eat this. You finna eat this, I'm gonna fix it up real nice. Cause let's see, this food costs too much money for you to be wasting it. Yeah, whenever he doesn't um, eat all of his food like that, I put one of these little tuna things in it. These like, they're like, it's like, it's a treat, but it's like pudding, like a, I don't know what, it, I don't know how you describe it. It's like tuna pudding. It's kind of like a gogurt for a cat. Y'all see that? And then I mix it up and I make him eat it. <laughs> because baby, we don't waste. Your cat food costs too much money, okay? Okay. That's what it's giving. Come on. Come. Go. There you go. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, I just got home from um, being with the girls. I didn't really vlog that much when once Denise got there. You know, when you haven't seen your girls in a long time, you're like catching up, so you're talking about stuff that like the masses don't need to hear. Um, so it's kind of like one of those. But I did want to show y'all what I got from Goodwill. I only got two things. Goodwill done went up on their prices. Like, excuse me? Not us witnessing inflation and goodwill. Like, what in the world? 
So, um, I only got two things for my collab. So, I'm doing an Instagram reel, so I'm just going to show y'all what I got because I don't know if I'm going to show it on YouTube. Um, so, let me, let me get my stuff together and then I'll show y'all, okay? <laughs> okay, I changed into some comfortable clothes. Okay, so let me show y'all what I got from the Goodwill. Can y'all see me? I ain't got my, um... Uh, let me get my tripod. Hold on. Because <laughs> that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. <laughs> I have to be looking at me crazy when I be singing. It's not gonna work. Let me get my tripod, cause that's not gonna work. Why is it so dark? I don't freaking know. I don't know why the camera is so dark. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Is it focused? Like, what the? If this part looks strange, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what's going on with my camera. But anyway, I only got two things. I got a hoodie, like a crop top hoodie. That looks like this. It says good vibes. And it's actually from Old Navy. It's a 2X. So I got this. Thought that was really cute. I'm gonna put this stuff in the washing machine. And then I just got this cardigan. That looks like this. Um, this is from a place called Wild Fable. And it's also a 2X. And I think I spent like $10. Yeah, they both were $5.25. So I spent um, $11.13. Let's see. And Paula just gave me her gift card. Shout out to Paula because I definitely left my gift card at home in my other purse. So yeah, I'll be doing content with these pieces um, next week. So y'all will probably see the content for those two pieces in like two weeks. But I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night. Probably cut like a movie on and relax. Um, I gotta get up and go to church in the morning. And then it's grocery shopping day and meal prep. It's Martin Luther King weekend, so I'm off on Monday. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I didn't even say this, <laughs> but um, we're doing 21 days of prayer and fasting again at church. So we do it every year, um, every January and every August. So we're, uh, we are, tomorrow will mark day seven. So we'll be finishing up the first week. And this time I'm fasting uh, TikTok, and secular music so no r&b none of that <laughs> no tiktok and i'm not on social media after 9 30 at night um i'm not on social media in general after 9 30 at night and i know some of y'all are fasting with your church right now too so if you are fasting leave a comment below and let me know what you're fasting and how your fast is going so far in this new year also, I did want to say, if you miss me doing specific, like, Christian content, like the Christian videos that I used to make on YouTube, go ahead and follow me on Ghetto Bible Study because we are officially back up and running on Ghetto Bible Study. I posted something last, well, earlier this week um, about, you know, the things that are about to be happening on Ghetto Bible Study. My camera is about to go dead. So I'm going to put Ghetto Bible Studies uh ig name on and on the screen which is just ghetto bible study and i'm going to put it in the description box below so if you're interested in christian content from me you can follow that instagram page as i grow it okay my camera's going dead i will see y'all tomorrow when uh either before or after church okay bye happy sunday hey y'all happy sunday it is the next day and i just got home from church 
and running errands. I got more groceries downstairs that I need to bring upstairs. Wanted to get the vlog started for the day. I had, listen, I had every intention of taking y'all with me to grocery shop today, run errands. Guess who forgot her whole camera at home? And then did I not forget my whole gift card yesterday? Let me explain myself, okay? <laughs> my period just started yesterday and period brain is real. Like I, it, it, it just flutters away out of my brain. Like I can know that I need to do something and it will just, it will just leave me. As quickly as it came, the thought has left. So I, I forgot y'all today. <laughs> but that's okay because I needed to get in and out of those stores anyway and um, definitely dealing with period cramps. So I wasn't really in the mood to be vlogging at like trying to grocery shop and vlog at the same time anyway. So obviously the Lord knew best, okay? But I did want to um, show y'all what I got from the grocery store because I'm finally letting y'all in on my fitness journey. Yay! <laughs> okay, so I um, joined a private gym where I've been working with a personal trainer since like November 17th, like around, you know, holiday season and stuff like that. And we have um, a couple of like fitness coaches, we have a nutrition coach, and we have an accountability coach. Um, so I wanted to take a second to talk to you all about that. But before I do, before I do that, let me feed Ivy so he can stop scratching at my feet. Look at him. Are you hungry? Okay then. Let me feed him and then I'm gonna come back so we can talk about the fitness stuff. Okay. Okay, so I got my groceries, all my groceries up the steps and I wanted to take some time to just talk about my decision to join a fitness program and just like, you know, let's just chat about physical health and why I am um, taking part on this journey, okay? So just for a little background history, I have been, I won't say I've been plus size all my life, but I've definitely been more curvy. I've definitely been tall, curvy with boobs, basically since boobs started forming in little girls, okay? <laughs> like, Sonya had it, honey. She had hips, she had boobs, and I had heights. I didn't necessarily have like a lot of weight on me, but I was always in the curvy category. Like, I can remember in middle school, I was wearing like juniors up to like women's clothes. One, because I was so tall, and then two, because I was so shapely. So I have never been skinny. You ain't gonna see a picture of Sonya looking too thick thin, never ever, not ever in my childhood, okay? And so with that being said, like, my mom um, just really made it a point in me and my brother's childhood to focus on physical fitness and health. My mom has always, um, you know, just kept a really cute figure. If y'all saw my mom in the Christmas vlog, if y'all didn't recognize the, the woman with the boho knotless braids, that's my mama. <laughs> Go back and look at the Christmas vlog. The woman who had on the matching pajamas that I had on with the boho braids, the top knot and the braids. Baby, that's not my sister. That's my mom. Don't she look good, girl? Okay. So my mom has always prioritized health and fitness in our household growing up. Long story short, me always trying to figure out how I can approach my health and fitness journey has just been just that, a journey. I can remember trying to have a, a workout routine in college and not being able to keep up with it. I can remember getting my first apartment and trying to like take walks around the neighborhood and not being able to keep up with it and just years and years of trying and not being able to develop a longevity in health and fitness. Um, and so I'm, I'm happy to have this conversation with y'all because, you know, I get the same comments that every other plus size influencer gets talking about I need to lose weight because I'm not healthy because this and this and this blah, 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 blah. And I wanted to share the reason why I am, you know, this year being charged to focus on uh, health and fitness and it has nothing to do with me being insecure. 
I just want to take the time to like clarify that. <laughs> it has not, some of my reasons in my younger years definitely had, um, it was definitely rooted in insecurity, definitely rooted in this notion that I should look a certain way or be a certain way in order to be attractive to the opposite sex or in order to be healthy. And I have done the work mentally to get away from those limiting thoughts that tells a woman or a man with a bigger body that because you look this way you're not healthy because i know people people who i work out with today who is my my same shape my same size who are more flexible than me they lift more weights than me they can run faster and longer than me they can do splits they can do handstands like they they girl they they gymnasts same weight <laughs> same similar plus size body but they are way more physically fit than me so being physically fit there's no one way to be physically fit and being physically fit doesn't look the same for everybody so my reason for focusing on health and fitness is definitely not rooted in wanting to be skinny because i ain't never been skinny I, I, I can't make my body be something that is just not naturally like you know what I mean like of course I could lose a whole bunch of weight and probably get down to like a really really slim body but like that would not that might not even be healthy for me because that's not naturally how my body is I am naturally a curvy person every woman in my family is naturally thick she got hips she got butt and she got boobs that is hereditary, okay? So, um, God challenged me last year, though, to make 2023 uh, focus on fitness and finance, making healthier decisions for my health and making healthier decisions for my coin, which is why the um, Where Would You Have at Home series is now a thing, okay? And I'm super excited that y'all are excited about that series. But yes like it is more so rooted in longevity in life i want to have a long life and i want to take care of the temple that god gave me i can say that last year i did start having um i won't say issues but like i could, i started feeling the weight that i was carrying more like i started feeling sluggish I was feeling tired all the time. My body was aching. My feet would remain sw swollen for weeks at a time. Um, I was stiff. My hips felt really tight. My neck, my shoulders felt tight. I was breathing heavy, walking up and down steps, and just, you know, my endurance for any type of cardio was very short. And um, there was a time where I was like, oh, I'm starting to not like the way that I look because I look swollen and I look bloated. Um, and I didn't feel like I looked healthy. And so completely being honest and transparent about that, there was like a couple of months like around when like when I went to Houston, <sighs> completely transparent. I did not like the way I looked in Houston at all. I felt bloated. I, I felt like I looked swollen. I felt like my double chin was chinning, chin, chinning throughout the whole video. I just was like, ooh, girl. Like, you know how sometimes you catch yourself on camera or, like, in a mirror and you just be like, ooh, girl. And I feel like God was finally, like, allowing me to see what I had been doing to my body since COVID. Because since since we were quarantined, your girl been eating. I've been eating hot food. Baby, in quarantine, I was shuffing it up. I was cooking shrimp and grits. I was cooking pasta. I was making bacon. I was making a bacon egg sandwich every morning for breakfast, baby. I was shuffing it up. My southern roots had kicked in, baby. I was cooking it up during COVID, baby. I was shuffing it, whipping it, whipping it, whipping it. That was me. <laughs> I was making shrimp and grits. I was making all time. I was making grits every day, grits and eggs and bacon. Like, I remember months where I was just eating grits, eggs, and bacon every day or eating, like, a bacon egg sandwich every day. I was shoving it up. Okay? <laughs> and I feel like it finally caught up with me. You know, last year, I was out eating a lot. Like, I, we ate, we, we spent some coin last year, honey. I lived my best life outside last year. I was eating and drinking it up. 
going to wineries, bottles and drinks and food and uh, and men. <laughs> All types of stuff was going on, girl. I had a ball, okay? However, <laughs> towards the end of last year, I was like, ooh, things are starting to fit a little snug. I'm starting to have a little <sighs> in my breath. And I like it. When I came back from Houston, my feet were swollen for a whole month. My feet were swollen for a month, okay? So there was definitely times where like, I started to notice like, okay, Zanya, like, I am very confident in being a plus size curvy woman. I love being a plus size curvy woman. I love my body, I love my shape. However, there is a point in time where you have to think about, are you making healthy decisions for yourself to, to have longevity in life? You know what I'm saying? I'm not married yet, I don't have kids yet, I wanna be here. To, to have that I want to have kids um, and I just want to feel I want my body to feel good like I can always um, you know what I'm saying just I can always think thoughts about myself that would make myself feel good about how I look but when your body doesn't feel good like when you wake up feeling sluggish and tired and fatigued all the time and every time you eat you feel disgusted and all of that stuff those are signals to your body that a change needs to be made so with all that being said changes are currently being made okay okay so all this rambling to say <laughs> i'm working with a personal trainer i have a fitness coach and i wanted to show y'all um the groceries that i've been eating lately i have been meal prepping and so sundays have been my grocery shopping days and my meal prep days so, as I'm putting all of this food away, I'm going to show y'all what I am buying because we got a meal prep tonight. And I do want to um, record while I'm meal prepping so y'all can see what I make. <sighs> this sink, this sink, girl. I feel like every vlog, y'all y'all are watching me clean Clean up, especially wash dishes, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna bother y'all with showing y'all me washing dishes today, but I will um, have the camera on when I am uh, meal prepping. Look at my, girl, look at my waist. See, this is one thing I love about my body, Haney. That's one thing I love about my shape. When I, when I do lose weight, the first thing that's gonna go down is this waist. The, the apron, the apron right here might still be here, but I'm gonna have me a little. Okay, this, this they gave us muffins today at church for the uh, volunteer team. Don't mind it, okay? Baby, can we talk about why eggs cost ten dollars? Now I got my eggs from Aldi's. They was five dollars, but I have heard other places that. They get up with a ten dollars, but baby, I you know I just don't understand. Somebody need to go get some chickens, so we can get some eggs from your backyard. Okay. Okay. So next thing I've been getting is bananas. I like to eat like one banana before I work out. Um, it just gives me a little energy boost. This a banana has really just been helping me. I take it like I eat it like maybe. 15 minutes before I go work out because our workouts are pretty intense so I can't eat like a full meal before I go to the gym because you you don't throw up there are several of us who have been like I'm about to be sick <laughs> you know so I don't do that um I got some lemons because I am gonna make some salmon and I also like to squeeze lemon juice in my salad so got that I got some avocado because i am going to meal prep a cob salad so that's why i got the eggs too because i'm gonna boil some eggs i want to make a cob salad with avocado slices and then i got some red potatoes so on my meal plan we can have red potatoes we can have red potatoes and sweet potatoes we just can't have like white potatoes and golden potatoes like that so i got some red potatoes i'm gonna cook those tonight just got some onions because I just always keep onions in the house. And I got two things of red potatoes. Then I got from Trader Joe's these little candied um, 
pecans. Now, they only seven cards. Girl, I be tearing these things. I be tearing these things up. I put them in my oatmeal. I put them in my salad. I eat them in snacks. So, you know, you can have a half of cup, a one fourth cup of these, and they're 220 calories. But these are good. Okay, I like these. So I usually get like three three packs at a time. Look, y'all, look at Ozzy. He loves getting in these dang on Trader Joe's bags. Boo. You like your bag? I'ma leave you, beach hair. All right. Then also, I got some baby broccoli. This is gonna be my veggie tonight for my um, dinner. So y'all saw the dinner that I had last night. Hold on, this, this is bothering me that y'all cricket like this. Okay, y'all saw the dinner that I had last night. So on this meal plan, I can have um, lean pork tenderloin. So because that was so good last night from uh, Cooper Hots, I'm gonna make it at home. And those are some of the things that I do. Like, I keep my nutrition very realistic. Like, I figured out with me, my eating habits is like, if I have groceries in the house, I'm gonna eat what I have at home. If I have my meal prep and everything prepared, I literally have no reason to go anywhere else besides my own refrigerator. It's the in-between days, which is usually Fridays, Friday nights, and Saturdays where I don't have any meals prep because I go to the grocery store on Sundays. So those days I allow myself to have like a cheat meal or two. So like Friday night, I think I ate, um, no, I actually ate at home this past Friday night. But then Saturday we went to Cooper Hots and had dinner. And I tried to get like a healthier option. So you know what I'm saying? Like you, you kind of just make it work and make it realistic. Like I want my um, nutrition to be realistic because once you start telling me don't do this, don't do that, da da da, I feel too restricted. I don't feel like I can be creative with my food and I'm not going to, I'm not going to last basically. So that's that. So I'm going to basically make a super healthy version of the dinner that I had last night at Cooper Hot. So I got the broccoli. I'm trying out this green goddess dressing from Trader Joe's. Um, it's made with avocado, green onion, lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. It's only 20 calories, um, 95 milligrams of salt, two grams of sodium, and one carb. So I said I would try it. I don't know how it's gonna taste, but I said I would try it for my Cobb salad. Then I got some blackberries because I literally will eat these every day, like if, especially if I'm having like yogurt or oatmeal. They, these, is, these is crack for me, okay? Um, I'm gonna roast some Brussels sprouts tonight. So I got two bags of that. And then I also got um, blueberries. So like these type of berries are really good like for antioxidants and fiber and stuff like that. So is it good for fiber? I know they're good antioxidants and stuff. I feel like. They ain't got no nutrition things on it. Anyway, eat your berries, girl. Especially your blackberries and your blueberries, okay? <laughs> and then I just got some strawberries to go with that. Just some fruits to put in yogurt or oatmeal, whatever I feel like eating. Then I also got, so basically, I get all of my fresh produce from Trader Joe's. That's where I'm buying all my fresh produce from now. So I got a bag of kale. Girl, I've been tanning this kale up, baby. I will, I will saute some kale on the stove with some onions and put a little lemon juice in it. Blessing, blessing, okay? It be blessing. Then I do get these like pre, pre um, made vegetable bags. Now in my nutrition plan, we are staying away from starchy vegetables like carrots, corn, squash, and stuff like that. That's just really considered like starch and carbs. So I just picked the carrots out because they're big chunks. I don't know if you can see. They're big chunks of carrots, so they're just easy to pick out. And then the rest of it is literally just broccoli, Brussels sprouts, red cabbage, kale, and snow peas. So these are all the vegetables that uh, my nutrition coach like highlights in our vegetable column. And then I get spinach 
for my salad. So I'll be using this for the cob salad that I'm gonna make. I'm still eating my chicken sausage for breakfast. Chicken sausage is real good. Like if y'all haven't tried it, it's really good. I get the jalapeno one cause it has vegetables in it. It has uh, peppers, jalapeno peppers and roasted red peppers. Girl, they only six grams of fat. They are hundred calories, six grams of fat. They do have a lot of salt in it. Okay, but they only two carbs. But the biggest thing that my nutritionist told me was to get uh get chicken sausage or like pre-made uh processed sausages like this as natural of ingredients as possible so like this is literally skinless chicken skinless chicken meat water roasted red peppers um a little bit of seasoning which is just sea salt sugar jalapeno pepper onion powder garlic powder and then jalapenos so you're not eating like processed meat. It's literally just chicken and seasoning and peppers. That's it. So. And then I get this pre-cooked plain. Let me put one down. Pre-cooked plain chicken breast. This saves me so much time in meal prepping that I don't have to cook every single piece of meat. So this I use for salad. So I always get this for like my lunches or even sometimes my dinner. Like I might cook this together, put a little like scully sauce on it and then I got like a vegetable stir fry type thing. So these are key for me and it's literally just plain grilled chicken breast. No seasoning, no fat, that's it. And then I do go to Aldi to get some more affordable stuff, like to get the rest of the stuff that I usually cook with. So I get, I am a salmon girl. So I go get my salmon from Aldi. I usually get like two things and I will make all of this for the week. Um, so I get that. And then I did pick up the uh, pork. So I can meal prep that. I get this big old thing of instant oats, but just plain oats. And I season it, or I sweeten it with um, honey, cinnamon, some berries, and a little bit of those uh, pecans, and that's it. So I, I eat these for breakfast. I have become a yogurt girl again. Me and my mama used to, we used to have so much yogurt as a kid and then I kind of went away from it for a while. But I do get the non-fat Greek yogurt. 0% milk fat, that's key. No milk in this. Um, and just a vanilla one. Some more fruit, just some cherries. My coach was like, you need to eat more vegetables than you do fruit. And I was like, girl, you told me that I can't have no ice cream, so at least let me have a cherry or something. <laughs> but I'll, I'll try to make sure that I am doing the fruit in moderation, because fruit still has you know sugar in it. So Then I do my garlic cauliflower rice from Aldi. Um, this is really, really good. I use this as a supplement to regular rice, or I might do quinoa, but this has been really, really good for me. Um, only 25 calories a bag, so that's good. Got two of those. And then the last thing that I got is just a, <laughs> more fruit. A bag of frozen fruit for when I make smoothies. Um, I do have a protein powder that I'm using um, just to help me have protein. I'm supposed to have, hold on. I do have a protein powder that I need to restock up on. I need to go to the gym and go get some more protein powder so I can do a protein smoothie or I usually honestly just drink my protein in the morning and my coffee because it's sweet and it just sweetens up the coffee. So um, the protein powder helps me build muscle. I'm supposed to have 150, 150 grams of is it milligrams, whichever one, of protein a day. <laughs> so yeah y'all that's everything so this is all of the stuff and i'm gonna meal prep later so when we get to meal prepping i'll pick the camera back up so y'all can see everything that i am cooking and y'all can uh i'll tell y'all like the menu 
for the week because I'm doing this. I'm only buying enough groceries for one week so I don't waste. I try my best not to waste anything. Um, I used to just meal prep for like Monday through Friday for like the work week, but I am going to try this particular week to meal prep like for the whole weekend. So Monday through Sunday, cause like today, now that I came home from, um, now that I'm home from church and home from running errands, I don't have a meal prepared. Like I, I should have, I should have eaten lunch by now. I don't have a meal prepared. So I got enough food this time where I can prep for seven days instead of just five. And that way on the weekends, I also will have something in the house to eat. It's already ready to go. But okay. If you're tired of listening to me talk, that's great because I'm tired of talking. So I will pick the camera back up later on when we are prepping this food. Salmon came out looking real good. My potatoes, I haven't, I literally just drained them. I haven't done anything to them. And then my pork, I know it don't look like much, but trust me, it tastes good. I cut two open to make sure they was done, but it tastes real good. And then I got some Brussels sprouts cooking in the oven. Meal prepping is such hard work. My feet hurt, I'm tired. I didn't do the cob salad. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Thank God I'm off work. But I'm gonna do it um, tomorrow for lunch. I'm just gonna go ahead and meal prep the cob salad for the rest of the week. Tonight though, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some of this for dinner tonight. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take y'all along my little my little journey. And I know y'all gonna ask like, oh, am I, I'm am I gonna be showing y'all me working out? No, <laughs> not right now. And a re the reason being is because girl, we be working out so hard, I can't even think about a camera, positioning the camera, remembering to bring the camera. I just be trying to survive, okay? So just trust and know I'm getting a really good workout when I'm working out, okay? But yeah, I'm getting ready to eat some dinner um, and relax for the rest of the night, get off my feet, because my feet are hurting, and I will see y'all when I pick the vlog up again, okay? Good morning, you guys. It is Monday. Happy Martin Luther King Day. It is MLK Day, and as you know, Ozzy and I, we are off work today, so I'm just about to make me some breakfast. He over here thinking he finna get something to eat when he's not, okay? I just want y'all to know that even when I am off work, Ozzy still wakes me up at 6 a.m. for his feeding time. So he gets fed every day, no matter what day it is, at 6 a.m., okay? And he thinks that he finna eat again. It's only, it's 9.35. He think he getting ready to eat again? Nay. Nay. 
So if you hear him in the background whining, it's just because he thinks that he's supposed to get two sets of breakfast. And we don't play that. Obviously, the box, the PR box graveyard is still, <laughs> it's still in the background. To my defense, I did have every intention of having Kristen come over this past weekend and help me break these boxes down and take them to a main dumpster. However, my period started and I was just like, never mind her, never mind. So I made an effort. Hold on, something on the camera. Uh, come off. Anyway, I made an effort, but who's moving boxes on that period? Not me. <laughs> so anyway, I'm about to make me some breakfast and um gonna have a really chill, relaxing day today. We are in the middle of reporting season at my job, so I kinda have to do some work today. But you know, I don't have to go in the office and then I do have to go to the gym tonight. It's six o'clock. <sighs> so um yeah i just wanted to check in with y'all today i may or may not pick the camera up for the rest of the day but happy mail but happy mlk day good morning girl i hope you have a good day off today okay in the name of the people okay <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Hold on, let me put y'all on the tripod for a second. Hold, please. Okay. What's up? Welcome back to the vlog. Um, welcome back to another day on the same vlog. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm trying to get my thoughts together. <laughs> I'm trying to get my thoughts together. I um, went and worked out today. Um, we had we started booty boot camp today with my trainer and it's on Saturday mornings at 9 30 girl Killed me. Okay killed your girl. Okay Killed it, but let's just hope That eventually oh the battery going dead. Hold on. Hold on All right, I had to change the battery anyway Booty boot camp started today It was hard as hell it was hard as it was it was hard okay um but hopefully i might be stepping down as president of square booty gang if i keep it up okay so anyway <laughs> i just got back from the gym not too long ago and just got off the phone with my sister as y'all know y'all seen the last vlog she had my niece soraya camille um she is three weeks old right now <laughs> so it's been three weeks since she's had the baby and we were just catching up on how it's been and the journey listen i give a special shout out to all the moms out there because the postpartum journey is on a whole nother level i don't have kids i'm not one that wants a whole bunch of kids i do want kids but i want a whole bunch of kids baby let's see let's see how we do with the first one when we get to the first one okay um, but yeah, just about to follow my sister and now I'm about to finally take my Christmas decorations down. Y'all see the Christmas tree still up in the back. I don't even think I showed y'all the Christmas tree on the blog ever, <laughs> but I'll show it to you and I'm going to take it down. And then I also am going to wash my hair. I'm going to wash my natural hair. So I will show y'all my natural hair routine since I have not done a video on my natural hair on my YouTube channel in 
years. I did one video of my sister actually like doing my natural hair because she is a hairstylist. So I will put that in the description just in case you want to see it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I got to wash my hair up under this wig. So we're going to do that. But in the meantime, I want to clean up the living room a little bit. <clears throat> I need to, y'all excuse my little tickle. Um, I need to wash the cases, the cushions cases. So y'all see I've been kind of taking them off, putting some stuff in the washing machine. I'm going to wash the blankets that me and Izzy usually use when we're sitting on the couch. Um, put that in the washing machine. Then take my braids down, wash my hair, condition it. And then uh, while my hair is conditioning, take the Christmas tree stuff down. So let's just get into it, girl. Let's just get it. I got Ozzy's hair in my in my chapstick. His hair is all over the place. This is why I need to clean up. Um, but yeah, so let me do this and then we'll get started with the braids. Okay. All right, y'all. Room is straightened up. This is what my natural hair is looking like. I just had this um U part wig on when I went to the gym earlier today. Y'all, let me tell you something about this wig. Okay, I made this wig myself. Back in the day, I used to make my own wigs. I used to get hair from this girl that I went to college with. Hands down to this day, the best hair that I've had. I've had this hair since like 2016. This same hair. It was like really long. It used to be like 26 inches and over time I just cut it. And then eventually I cut it into this little like U part bob situation best hair hands down y'all the texture of it it has like a really loose wave curl pattern that always comes back it matches my natural hair the most like especially if i want to do like a u part like this unfortunately she's not in business anymore she hasn't been in business for some years but this hair is probably one of my favorites i probably will never get rid of this wig because it's just so good had it since 2016 so i think i actually want to wear this for the week um like actually do a u-part style for the week i'm still working with stitch by star g she's just kind of um we're just kind of still trying to figure out what we want to do in the new year um but for right now i definitely think i'm going to wear um that u-part wig at least for one week and it's definitely more convenient for me going to the gym than it is wearing my long wig. My long wig just, girl, we'd be too sweaty for all that hair, okay? But this is my natural hair. I'm getting ready to take it out the, the braids. I am super sweaty and wet and I have not shaved under my arm. So just, you know, we're, we're getting real raw and transparent right now. But I've been doing, I'm gonna say I've been doing the TikTok trend, but really it's just me being lazy, where you keep your braids in and let them grow out for a long time you see all this new growth like y'all see all of that you supposed to like keep your braids in and just let them grow out to like you know just a long time and then do your hair to like promote growth um i'm following a tiktok trend but i'm also just lazy i don't wash my hair every two weeks honestly <laughs> my hair is best when you leave it alone anyway like she's not the type of hair that likes to be overly manipulated anyway um and then i'm gonna show you the products that i use and i literally have been using the same products for years like my hair me like my whole body not even like in my personality but my whole body is a creature of habit it does not really like for you to switch up products that often it doesn't like for you to do too much like <laughs> it really does not need for you to be doing the most extravagant like whatever i'm not gonna say that my body responds negatively to it but like it just likes what it what it likes you know what i'm saying and so it it's just that's just what it is when it goes to my skincare routine even when it comes down to like the lotion and deodorant that i use the body excuse me the body wash i use um my face is a little bit more receptive to like new products like i can do like i can switch up the skincare routine and she'd be perfectly fine but my hair Oh baby, she like, what is this? Don't want it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't need it. No thanks. Thanks, no thanks. Thanks for no thanks, sis. 
So yeah, I literally just, I leave my hair be, child. I'm not, I'm not the girl for like natural hairstyles. I'm not really into that. I like my wigs. You know, that's just me being transparent. I like my wigs. <laughs> I don't really care to like wear my natural hair that often. Y'all saw, I think y'all could see like in the last vlog, I had my natural hair out. But it was just like in a little basic ponytail. I have been trying to like play around with some styles. But it just was not giving. Okay, I feel like it's dark. Can y'all even see? I feel like it's mad dark. But anyway, my hair is dark. So, my apologies if you can't really see. But, um, yeah. Let me see if I can turn on my... If that helps. Turn on my, um... Little mirror, but I don't think that did nothing, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. So, yeah, that's just where I'm at with my natural hair. Like, she's just very, very basic. She don't like a whole bunch of manipulation. I really, really, really want to get some braids, especially now since I'm working out. Um, however, it's just not in the finances right now. Y'all know braids are special these days, and especially them goddess braids, okay. Um, so we're going to wait on that, but if I had my way, my hair would be braided up. So this is like the general length of my hair. Um, and then I do have, hold on y'all. I just got a, I just got a brand email. Hold on. Okay. Attach my clothes. Let me give you. Please let us know if you have any questions. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Ensure events. Okay, I'm gonna have to look over this. I'm gonna have to look over this. Okay, I'll look over that when I got time. Um, but yeah, so this is the length of my natural hair. And this is really the bangs part of it. Um, I do have like some, I have thin edges, as y'all can see. Um, I had an experience with a hairstylist a long time ago who <laughs> took my edges out with a relaxer and they just never, like they grew back, but that's just all that they grew in. Just like that. So it's, and it's on both sides. So, that's unfortunate. So if you do have some recommendations of how to get my edges looking right and tight, leave it in the description box below. But yeah, I'm just about to sit here and um, take my braids out really quick. products i use very basic products so okay um i use the olive oil shampoo my hair likes this shampoo i use this tresemme pro care curl uh conditioner and i mix this with a uh, hot oil treatment <clears throat> because i only wash my hair like once a month once a uh, you know if that <laughs> I try to do a treatment on it I got my spray bottle that I'm gonna put some water in and that's literally it y'all like I put I still use blue magic grease for for my scalp like in between my braids and I still use iso plus hairspray to like just spray my hair down and keep it moisturized but that's it could I like use some other stuff and have like a more in-depth hair routine of course I could am I going to Probably not. <laughs> Am I going to realistically? No. Again, my hair, as long as you don't do a whole bunch of manipulating to it, she's good. She is not lacking. She's not lacking anything, honey. 
she's just like girl don't be bothering me if you don't bother me i won't bother you that's the type of energy she be on so yeah this is my hair um i'm actually going to like i was saying take a shower and wash my hair i usually will wash it in the sink but because i haven't showered from the gym i just want to uh kill two birds with one stone so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'm gonna come back do my deep conditioning method and then um i usually let my hair condition for a long period of time but the condition of being in hell all day okay <laughs> I want to condition my hair and then I'm going to straight take them Christmas decorations down. Um, make me some lunch. I'm going to eat lunch first. Take the Christmas decorations down and then probably by the time it get dark outside, I'll be rinsing the conditioner out and ready to bring her back up. So anyway, uh, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to play with y'all about this showing y'all me washing my hair in the shower content. Just, I, I'm going to stay in my lane on it. So I'll come back once my hair is uh, washed and I'm showered, okay? Okay, y'all. It is a little bit later. I had to like get out the shower and like eat because I had gotten way too hungry. Um, So I'm just now getting to the conditioning part. Look at Ozzy though. Hold on, can you see him? Y'all see him back there on my um clean clothes. Let me show you. Honey. There wasn't nowhere else for you to lay. Yeah. Anyway. So I'm about to warm up my hot oil treatment. I'm going to show y'all what I do. And then I need to fill up my spray bottle so I can wet my hair back down. Because I literally have been keeping it in this t-shirt for the last like hour or so. Cause girl, I had to fix me some food, baby. I'm, huh? I got a little headache. I said, oh no, but we got to eat, okay? We got to eat. So, yeah. I literally cut on the hot water in my sink, let it get as hot as possible. Then I take my hot oil treatment, put it in the cup, fill up the cup with hot water. So, got that water in it. Just enough for it to cover the hot oil treatment packet. And then I put it in the microwave for like one minute to warm it up. Y'all remember like back in the day when you had to like warm up your hot uh, oil treatments on the stove? When they came in like the bottle and you had to like boil water on the stove and warm it up. Yeah, baby, we ain't got time for that. Boo. We ain't got time for that. We're gonna put that bad boy in the microwave, okay? And then when I take it out the microwave, I keep it in the water so that like as I'm working through my head, it'll, it'll remain in the hot water. And then also I put my combs, which I just reminded me I need to go do that. I put my combs um, in that hot water too. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about because it'll break down like all the gunk you have on your combs. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I wash, I like to clean my like combs and brushes every time I wash my hair. Um, so I use this hot water to like break down the gunk on the combs and stuff. But I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So, should be a little hotter than that, hold on. I'm gonna get it a little hotter than that. And then we're gonna get it popping on his hair, honey. It's already 4.45. Ain't took a Christmas decoration down yet, but that's okay. We gonna get it together. Okay, yeah. That's giving hot. So like a minute, a minute and a half to put to warm your water up. And then, as you can see, I just let the hot oil treatment sit in there. And so as it is, uh, as I'm using it, it just continues to sit in there so that it can remain hot in this hot water. So, let's go to the beauty room, girl, so we can get this head together. Ooh, this cup hot. Ah! You see this comb right here? Is it gonna focus on it? You see all this gunk on this comb? It's not focusing, but I literally sit 
my combs and stuff in there my brushes in there so that the hot water can break that down and because like this has a top on it you know what I mean it doesn't like spill so I do that so it can break all of that gunk down that I've been using on my hair for the last couple of months <laughs> but okay let me get situated okay y'all this is what my hair is looking like it has literally just been wrapped up in that uh t-shirt <clears throat> so it's really it's actually like dry almost dry um but this is what my curl pattern looks like when it's like you know kind of poofy I don't know what curl texture number whatever what have you that I am I'm not gonna be able to tell you this sis <laughs> but this is this is my hair and then I will definitely show you as I wet it and condition it what the curl pattern looks like but I definitely have you know just some tight coils like my hair definitely curl curls up really tight on the ends like I don't know if y'all can see that it ain't focusing that well but um <clears throat> yeah my hair definitely like will curl up real tight on the ends girl so then now what I do <clears throat> I don't use a comb to part my hair whatsoever until I'm getting ready to braid it and y'all know usually I have on nails so I use my nails but don't worry I get my nails done on Wednesday okay and I just um divide it up into four sections like this and just twist it and clip it so it can be out the way so I can see and then I take my spray bottle of water and I will wet it starting at the ends, just going all the way up and through just dampen it back down so that I can detangle it um, and work through it and I kind of will like do some finger detangling kind of go through and then I told y'all like once my hair is like wet and it's natural state, I have to use a wide to comb. I can't use a paddle brush type situation just because like my hair curls up so tightly on the ends and it just snags. You see how it's kind of snagging? And because I'm tender headed girl, I ain't got time for that, okay? <laughs> I ain't got time for that, okay? So I do like a real like, uh oh. I do like a real kind of like <clears throat> quick detangle when it's in a section because I'm going to go through and section out these bigger sections. So I don't like, I really just kind of focus on detangling the ends. I don't really get too caught up in the detangling quite yet because I'm literally going to go through create a smaller section clip that up and I start doing the conditioning process so this is where I'm gonna really like go through and detangle get it together spray it a little bit more if I need to make sure it's saturated then I go in with my let me get the right conditioner my conditioner so I just take some conditioner <coughs> I, excuse me I use a lot this period and I just work my conditioner through each little section like so like that you can already see like kind of how my ends are kind of coming back in the coils Honey. And I just finger comb it. And usually when I have my nails on, like the finger comb, I can really get it like together. So like that. 
And then this is when I take my hot oil treatment. Oh, this water is hot. <laughs> I take my hot oil treatment, open it up a little bit. Can y'all see it like steaming? I don't know if y'all can see it on camera, but it's steaming. And I take a little bit in my hand, put the tube back in the cup, and then I just work that through the hair, making sure I get these kitchen areas. Now that that is like that, so this is like the true curl pattern of my hair. I just put it in a two strand twist and move on to the next section, girl. So that's all I do. Just kind of put it in these little plaits. Then I just move on. And my hair like shrinks up. <laughs> like I wish I had a little bit of a looser curl so it can kind of like keep its length but my hair shrinks up so you'll see this will eventually like come up here <laughs> by the time I get done but yeah so that's it and now you can kind of see I, I changed clothes so you can kind of see the length like so like that all right y'all so here are my little plaits I told y'all it was gonna shrink <laughs> by the time I got done with the whole thing. Um, so yeah, I just get that much length. It's looking good. So this is what I do now as I am like letting my hair deep condition is I literally just take them all and pull them all up like so. And I just clip them up like this at the top of my head just clip them like that now i'm doing this the old school ghetto way because i don't know what happens to all of my shower caps but they done went mia and i continuously forget to buy shower caps every time i go to the stuff so we just gonna do the plastic bag okay so i literally just put plastic bag on my head just tie it up kind of like wrap it up and then i put my that and scarf over this to generate heat while I am doing whatever I'm gonna do for the rest of the evening until I rinse this out so that's that on it so that period <laughs> period and there we go. So we gonna deep condition. Oh, and I wanted to show y'all. Look at my comb now. Y'all see how clean my comb is now? Just sit your combs in a cup of hot water. Let them sit. I just let it sit for the duration of me like going through detangling and conditioning my hair. So I'll say like 30 minutes, whatever. Really, you really don't need that long, 15, 20 minutes. And then like, once I see the gunk is starting to like break down and come off, I just kind of like swish it around in the water a little bit. And it just breaks down, down all that gunk and dirt. And I put this brush in there and I just do the same thing. Pull all the little hairs out of it. All this gunk and dirt. And yeah, and I just wipe it off. And it's good as new, shawty. Look like it ain't never even been used, shawty. Look at that. Clean, shawty. You see that? You can see it right through it. And then this is what the water... Let me... Let me not spill it. <laughs> this is what the water is giving. You see all the gunkiness? It's all down in the hot water. Okay, y'all. We are deep conditioning now. Um... I am going to take this Christmas tree down <laughs> and just relax for a little bit until I feel like rinsing this conditioner out. Like, literally, I leave this conditioner in until I feel like rinsing it out. So, let's go get these Christmas decorations together, girl. Okay, then. I'm going to fix me a glass of um, Governor's White. This is a local Virginia wine that's made by the Williamsburg Winery out here. It's so good.
what's up beauties welcome back to another day on the vlogs it is work from home wednesday however i am about to go get my nails did <clears throat> i got my laptop in my purse so we're working we're working from the nail shop <coughs> but no i actually use my leave when i have to like do my beauty appointments let me clarify that in case somebody trying to like report me i ain't got time okay but i do have a meeting a big meeting at three o'clock um and with traffic i don't I ho i'm hoping that i'm gonna be able to be back home by three but just in case i'm bringing my laptop because my um vanessa my nail tech has um a little spare room in the back where i can go sit on zoom if i have to go back there so anyway i just wanted to come and get the vlog started today and show y'all that i'm finally getting my nails done it's been two weeks since i've had my natural nails and i'm just over it i'm over it okay um y'all see my hair remember we was talking about the U part wig and wearing my natural hair out honey it has been raining ever since the day that i washed my hair i washed my hair on was it saturday it rained sunday it rained monday tuesday it didn't rain but it's raining today my leave out didn't stand a chance baby <laughs> My leave out didn't stand a chance with the U part, especially with me going to the gym. My leave out was like, what what are, what are we doing here? And I didn't want to keep like straightening it every day because I, of course, don't want to give myself any heat damage. So I just braided it up and put my regular wig back on. <sighs> we might try to U part again someday, but just not today. So anyway, about to head out, about to go to the nail shop. So I will pick the camera back up once we get there because y'all haven't seen Vanessa on the vlog on the vlog in a little bit. So y'all can say hey to her as I'm getting my nails eat. Period. Okay, y'all. We just made it. Oh, I'm so sore. Like, it's not even funny. We just made it to the nail shop. Sweet. <laughs> It is raining, so I took my time driving up here. Um, but yeah, getting ready. Oh, y'all see my collarbones coming in? Your girl slimming down, okay? I know y'all see it. I know you see it. But I am so sore. So, okay. Oh, okay then. See you with your new lighting outside. Oh, the light they put out. Yeah. It popped hey, on. I was oh, like, oh. It's a camera day today. Oh, it's a Lord. camera day, girl. Oh, Say hello. Hi. <laughs> they haven't seen you on the vlog oh, in a while. God, right oh, you're there. watching my favorite, one of my favorite influencers. She's watching Aaliyah's face. Yeah, I just put her on because I think she's so funny. Yeah, I love her. Y'all know we love Aaliyah's face on this she channel. so funny. Okay, y'all. But. Oh my god, I made it to the shop. We're gonna catch up. I haven't seen her in like a month. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay. Bye. <laughs> What's up, beauties? Just coming in to close out the vlog. I never picked the vlog back up from after I got my nails done that day, but I just got a simple, like, uh, French tip type of style kept it very basic because i needed to go home and make it to that meeting and i did make it on time i literally made it at like 255 and the meeting started at three <laughs> um but for the last couple of days i've just been focusing on filming valentine's day content so you should have already seen the skims valentine's day uh short that i put up earlier today so if you ain't checked that out, make sure you go ahead and watch it. So if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, girl. We are already like at 31 something something. We're very close to being at 32,000 subscribers. So thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed. Shout out to all of my new subscribers. But big shout out to all the OGs who have been with me for a while. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, okay, that I will have like an actual like Valentine's Day YouTube video up for y'all before Valentine's Day. Um, fingers crossed that I actually get that done, edited, and up for y'all. But if not, I will see y'all in my next video. Love you. Bye.